2.92 acres in Sacramento, California, 4155 Fell Street. I'm here to tell you 50 ways that you can make money after you buy this property from me. Welcome to the open house. Let's get started. You could just buy this property and hold it. The real estate market in Sacramento is insane. I am literally having an open house and there's no house. There's no inventory. So if you bought it and held it and as the inventory, you know, they're building houses and stuff, but you could probably sell this property for more money. You could buy this property and put one house on it. It is zoned R1 currently, and there is no city sewer, so you would have to do septic. Now, if you're gonna put one house on this property, would you like it to be a tiny house, a shed, a mega mansion, an estate? That's really all I'm gonna go into today. Big, medium, small, whatever kind of house that you would like to put on three acres, we could do that. You have so many options and you could put it in all different spots of this property. So whatever you want, really, you have full reign and full control of your reality and destiny. If some of you are watching this and go, man, I'll never have the money to buy my own property, I want you to do money mantras. I want you to write down a list of money comes easily to me and I can afford my property and my dreams and I can afford my house and my dreams and you know all the things that you want that are good about money write down on a piece of paper put it next to your bedside read it in the morning read it at night brainwash yourself to buy property from me okay you could buy this and develop it there is a tentative parcel map for 14 acres or 14, excuse me, 14, not, it's 2.92 acres, it's 14 individual parcel lots. So it'd be three in front here, and then the rest through the back. It's on the listing. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. Those developers are not gonna watch this video. So let me tell you all the other fun things that we can do with this property. You could have a family compound. Are your in-laws driving you crazy? Maybe they just need their own house on the property. You're still on the same property, but in different places and you can get your space. Also for your family gatherings, reunions and events, there's plenty of parking and just tell them to pitch a tent or bring a trailer. If you're an apocalyptic prepper, we could put really big walls all around and you could have your own apocalyptic preparation estate. Uh, this could be an event area. I am doing a money meeting on Wednesday and I'm going to bring all the real estate agents, mortgage loan officers, all the people that are smarter than me, that know way more people than me. I'm inviting them here on Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022 at 1 p.m. to help me find a buyer for this property. You could throw all different types of events and it's a little bit different because they're like, Jen, this is just a vacant lot. Yeah, but that's all I got. I'm a real estate agent. I've, I've done offices. I only go where the money's at. So this is the only place I want to hold events. You could turn this into a racetrack for dirt bikes, running, walking, whatever works for you. Uh, and I think the neighbors have, try, have been using it as a racetrack too. I'm watching a, a place that get delivered right now. This could be a golf course. I did bring my old uh, wooden golf club. Uh, it's a little, we have a little choppy choppy, but hey, four. This could be a shooting range. Actually, right over there, there is a target set up. And there's a huge wall on the sidewalk in the freeway, so I recommend shooting that way. Uh, this could be your private estate. You know, I'm sure most of you who have followed me so far know that I want a, a mansion in Atherton and this estate would actually rival that because in atherton it's a minimum of one acre so this would be three times as big and if i built an estate on here it would actually be a bazillion times cheaper than going about 100 miles that way to atherton so 
just throwing it out there. You could put a fat mansion here with a swimming pool and guest quarters and a nice long driveway. I mean, we could really do it up big here because it's only zoned R1. Okay, if you want to go completely opposite realm, you could pitch a tent here. You're allowed to pull up an RV and live two weeks on your property, but if you do not have building plans, they're gonna kick you off. So you can live in your campground as long as you have building plans and pitch a tent, RV, trailer. <coughs> I'm looking at a trailer right here. And they have a house over there as well. Okay, farm and animals. What's your favorite animal? You could just have a bazillion of those animals breeding right here. Pigs, sheep, goats. The neighbor has goats. Uh, chickens, uh, horses, uh, alpacas. Whatever you're into. There's a, there's a, I have beekeeping. You could, this could be a great beekeeping area. Rabbits. Um, dogs and cats. Oh my gosh, you could have a lot, a lot of animals here. This could also be a retreat area, yoga retreat, uh, survival camp, uh, Boy Scouts. You can make it into a park. Any type of retreat. You want to get away from the city, but you're still in the city of Sacramento. This could be a nice Airbnb. You could rent out camping spaces and have a house. You can do whatever type of Airbnb you would want to do and build to suit, you know, especially if you've been doing a lot of Airbnbs for a while and you want a new project. This one's really great. You could have a very big yard sale, almost like a community yard sale. Uh, there's already stuff for free here. I'm about to sell it to get rid of it. This is a beautiful place to have a picnic. You and your kids literally have a private park. You and your family can have picnics every day. A permanent, you know, picnic table and you're gonna have your tent set up and your kids and your dogs are gonna love it. You know, you could turn this into a dog park for your dog, for your dog. So your dog doesn't get lonely and all the dogs in the neighborhood can come around and run around here. I got a lot of ideas. You could do photo shoots. You better believe I'm the number one person who's gonna do photo shoots here. Uh, three acres, you could set up any type of scene to do a photo shoot. And it could be outdoor, you could do a little studio, indoor, anything. You could do all different types of photo shoots here. You can have an orchard. Sacramento is a farm area and this is flat. I'm from Humboldt area where, you know, building an orchard or something of hills, maybe that's good for vineyards, but uh, flat is where it's at. And you could grow apples, pears, lemons, oranges, um, grapefruit. There's a, actually black almond on the property. I asked the neighbor what was in bloom and they're, they're planting. They're also putting cactus. You could have a whole cactus farm. If you're a, kind of a cactus person, you could have a greenhouse, you could sell seedlings, this could be a vegetable yard, this could be a community garden, um, orchard, and then it could be a you pick orchard because you know I'm always looking to delegate the work. So you could grow all the fruits and vegetables and just people pay you to pick it and take it home and eat it. it doesn't get more from farm to fork than that. What, you know, Asian pears, you could do hybrids. I mean, Sacramento is a farming area. I would say you could do billboards, but uh, you do need to get a special permit for that, but you could put up like a little one here. Like I have my for sale sign, so I'm kind of using it as a billboard for myself and to promote myself. You could create this into a park for the community. Okay, helicopter pad right in the middle. Don't ask me what kind of permit or how to do that. You could turn it into an airport. You could turn it into a dump. You could be a beekeeper and just have a bazillion beehives and everything and sell the honey and candles and beeswax and you know plant all the stuff for the bees. This would be 
a great beekeeping farm. You could build a tree house. There is a tree right over there. You could plant trees for a tree house. You could have a whole tree house community. You could do a solar farm. You could put solar panels all up and down here and sell that energy back to the, um, to the grid. Or you could use, have your own solar farm and just uh, use a lot of power. You could do outdoor storage for boats and RVs and uh, whatever people, cars need outdoor storage. Uh, you could do a dairy farm. You could have cows. This, I mean, we need some animals here because look at the grass. is literally past my chair. You want to see how fertile the soil is. That's how big the grass is growing right here. So um, bring your goats and cows. They'll love it. Um, let's see. With the microbrewery, you could grow your hops out here and then have a little, you know, microbrewery and, and brew your own beer. Uh, let's do a vineyard. You could have your own wine and you know just people can come and literally look at the winery or hop, hoppery whatever it's called and microbrewery is really really cool. Dog park. Your dog is looking at this property saying please buy this for me. So I know your dogs would love to run around here and just have a great time. Bushcraft. Uh, that's some I don't even know what that is but it was on my list. Uh, so I'm going to put in below what bushcraft is. Community garden. You can literally put a house on here or not and just, you know, rent out lots for all the neighbors if they put their all pretty big lots. Uh, but you can still do a community garden. A wind farm. I mean, it's kind of windy. See this? It's a little windy. If you wanted to harvest wind, you could just put up a bunch of, uh, of uh, turbines. You want your tiny home on a big lot? And remember, we said big, small, medium, whatever, however you want to do it, we could do it here. You could just grow timber and harvest timber. So we're talking a Christmas tree. You could grow just to harvest for firewood and sell firewood. You could do so many things. This could be a summer camp for kids. It's so freaking hot here in the summer. I would do any season but summer. Um, you could have a market here. You could do a paintball course. Oh, this is okay. You could do a corn maze, and then in uh, October, this could be a, a whole cornfield and corn maze. People pay you to like go through the maze. You could do complete off-grid living right here. You solar panel, uh, compost, toilet, uh, battery pack, and again, that kind of goes with apocalyptic training. But if you, I love living off-grid. I think it's great. Save money where you can and uh, get away from all the electromagnetic fields that are messing with your electromagnetic fields in your body, get back to nature, but right here in the city. Again, plant nursery. You could grow so much here, any type of plant, vegetables, flowers, um, or orchard, all different types of plants, and you could sell the plants as well, okay? This could be a junkyard. It kind of is right now, but uh, if you want to keep it going, we can keep it going. Uh, modular or mobile home is also an option. You would have to get it, you know, with the city and blah, blah, blah. This could be a sports field. If you're a sports fanatic, do you want your own baseball, basketball, football, whatever, soccer? Look, it's a great soccer field. Uh, anything you want in your home or not, you could do that. Uh, animal sanctuary. You could save animals and they could all live here. There's plenty of space. Vineyard. You like drinking wine? Why not buy a, a winery and just build it how you would build it? Stables. Yeah, just have a, you know, horses and everything and you take care of them. And maybe they could just like do a lap around and jump over stuff and you could do like little horse shows here and if you're really into horses. I don't know if you could have horses right here, you'd have to research that, but this is just ideas. I'm just giving you ideas and everything you're interested in, we'll, we'll look deeper into. You could park your RV here, it could be an RV site, you know. Again, you, you can only park your RV for two weeks unless you have building plans. Obstacle course for all my Spartan heads out there, you could do a whole obstacle course here, 
going through the mud, going over stuff, monkey bars, you know, it's pretty much just an adult playground is an obstacle course. And you could just charge people. And uh, I would stay away from metal because it gets so hot here in the summer. Touching metal is not a good idea. I would stick to wood and plastic. Uh, I, I would like an obstacle course here. That would be great. Or some sort of outdoor gym or whatever. Uh, you could have a goat farm. You could have like all the goats and sell the goat milk and the goat cheese and have a goat petting zoo. And if you really love goats and they eat everything, but they also like to climb all over stuff and they eat everything. So uh, this is a perfect goat farm if you're a goat person. Uh, survivalist shelter. If you think that the world is going to end, but you want to stay in the city, but you want to be kind of secluded, you want to teach people survival, whatever, this is a really great place for that. You could also do a survival shelter here. Uh, just build whatever, you know, underground, above ground, make it like a circle, you know, Fort Knox, whatever you're into, really. Uh, Drive-in theater, you know, just have everybody drive in, have a big old projection screen. Uh, the drive-in theater in Sacramento is open. I know the kitchen burned down, but now they're doing food trucks. Christmas tree farm. Just grow all the Christmas trees and sell them at Christmas. And then you put them in.